Hello, CCH family, and welcome to another Heart to Home devotional. At the time of this recording, it's close to mid-November, and Christmas is right around the corner. And I want you to imagine, think back when you were a child, and um, it's Christmas Eve, and tomorrow's the big day. And for days, maybe even weeks, you've been staring at your gifts under the Christmas tree, uh, you've picked them up, you've, you've shaken them to see if you could get any clues or hints as to uh, what's inside. You've checked to see how heavy they are just to make sure that it's not a sweater. Um, you tried your hardest to determine what's inside the box. Or even as an adult, whether it's uh, for your birthday or a random event, you've received a gift and there's a great anticipation as to what's inside. And these gifts come from flawed gift givers. Uh, they have all the best intentions, but with limited resources and obviously an inability to read your mind, uh, sometimes these gifts miss the mark. Now imagine receiving a gift from someone with unlimited knowledge, unlimited power, and unlimited insight. Someone who knows you better than you will ever know yourself. Someone who exists outside of time and knows your end from your beginning. Someone with unlimited resources. And this person chose one gift especially for you out of every possible gift. Now imagine having no interest in opening that gift. Imagine not picking up the box, not shaking it, or having the desire to tear it open to discover what gift the creator of the universe has chosen just for you. Unfortunately, this scenario is true for far too many people in the church. And what makes this even more unfortunate is while planning and choosing that perfect gift for you, it was chosen with the intention and with the expectation that you would share it with others. If you've been a Christian for more than three months, six months, maybe a year, do you know what your spiritual gift is? Can you say without a shadow of a doubt, 100% my spiritual gift is, and fill in the blank? If not, may I ask why? Did you know that every genuine believer in Jesus Christ has been given at least one spiritual gift? The New Living Translation version of 1 Peter uh, chapter 4, verse 10 reads, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Now imagine standing before God and he asks you why you left his gift under the tree untouched. And so I guess now the question is, how does one discover their gift? <clears throat> and there isn't a simple one-step answer to that question, but I'd like to share some suggestions, if you will, uh, from my own experience. I would also recommend you ask other people uh, how they discovered their spiritual gift, and uh, you'll see how God can use you know, different methods. But first I would say, uh, become familiar with the different types of spiritual gifts. Uh, some gifts include wisdom, knowledge, the gift of faith, discernment, helping, administration, teaching, ministry, exhortation, the gift of hospitality, giving, leadership, mercy, worship, and prayer. And so all these gifts and the ones that I, I didn't mention, if used properly, uh, can be used to strengthen the faith of others and to grow the church. 1 Corinthians 12, 7 reads, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Imagine how Calvary Chapel Hemet would flourish if everyone who calls this their home church 
utilized their spiritual gift for the edification of the body. Imagine how those gifts would overflow into our communities, our households, and our workplaces. Next, I would say, ask God to reveal it to you. Um, the New Living Translation version of James chapter 1, verse 5 reads, If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and He'll give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8 read, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. And so notice it may not be revealed to you right away, but a genuine and persistent approach will be rewarded. He wants you to know what it is and to use it uh, to edify the body again and to glory, to glorify and honor him. It's not something that he wants hidden from you that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, next, I would say, be willing to serve. He planted you here at Calvary Chapel Hemet, or maybe you're at another church, but it wasn't to be a consumer only. Find opportunities to serve within the church and watch God open up doors that align you with the gift that he has given you. And how will you know? Well, it, it will feel right. Uh, it won't feel like a burden or an obligation. Uh, you'll find yourself leaning on the Holy Spirit for help because you don't feel worthy. You don't feel adequate. And when he comes through, you'll know it. Uh, lastly, I would say, listen to feedback. Other people will notice your gift perhaps before you even do. If multiple people begin to notice and compliment you about something you tend to excel at, that may be an indicator that you've discovered your spiritual gift. And so again, that journey may be different for each person, but regardless of your, or your approach, the Bible encourages us to be good stewards of what God has given to us. The Bible encourages us to seek our gift. The first part of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 31 reads, But earnestly desire the best gifts. And do you know what the best gift is? It's the one that he gave you. I thank you for your time, and I'll see you down the road.